Okay, look, I gotta be honest with you. Didn't really wanna do this. It was requested by many, many people, and I just can't let the people down. So if we're gonna take this on, we're gonna do our very, very best. Okay, so we're doing Starbucks drinks, but better. Now, before anyone asks about the pumpkin spice latte, because it's just a reoccurring thing every year, I don't know how people are not tired of it yet. All I have to say is this. It's not always about the pumpkin spice latte. I really wanna focus on the Frappuccino here, because this is something that for some reason, a lot of people have a lot of difficulty making. It separates, it melts instantly. There's a secret to it. Some people know, some people don't. Most people don't. And then of course, we're gonna go through a couple other things, like how to make nitro cold brew, and then the stupid pink drink, which I'm still against it, and I'm staying against it, but I'll make it for you anyway because Papa love you. With all that said, let's make this, shall we? I'm not a huge fan of Starbucks, but where else can you just whip into a drive-through and go and get coffee right then and there? We've been in line for 10 minutes and now we can't get out because we're locked in. Oh wow, thank you. Okay, so we've got the, well, we're not gonna drop this one. I hate that noise. Ah! Ugh! This is worse than like pulling nails out of my feet. We've got two fraps, this disgusting thing, and nitro cold brew. Now, all these are awful. It's been probably like six to eight years since I've had a frappuccino. We've got the caramel one first. I'll be sure to mix it. It's probably melted a little. Yeah, there's no coffee in this at all. It's just like so sweet. You hardly even taste the caramel. For the record, it tastes like good, but like sickeningly sweet. Like starting my morning like this, I can't imagine. The mocha. This one's a little more tolerable in the sweetness. So these are both really milkshakes, if anything. They don't taste bad, but I mean like coffee, no. This has over 50 grams of sugar in it. Holy sugar. The only reason I'm doing this drink or really any of this at all is because you guys have asked for it. I hate this. Yeah. It's not that bad, but it's just like tea with like milk or like coconut milk or something. Nitro cold brew. Now this is pretty straightforward. There's nothing else added to this. I mean, the nitro is there, but the flavor is awful. So we can do much better than this. Right, so with any coffee, we need to briefly discuss the fact that you can already be about 85% of the way to beating Starbucks by choosing the right beans. Obviously you could go with a local small batch producer or you could go as far as I did and roast your own, yes. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be using this Jean Cafe roaster, but there are also $30 stovetop roasters that you can get on Amazon too. Link in the description for all day. Now for this guy, I loaded it up with eight ounces of green coffee beans. These are Nicaraguan and ethically sourced. Set the roasting temp to 455 Fahrenheit or 235 Celsius. Turn that bad boy on and let it roast for about 15 to 18 minutes. I actually typically prefer to go by color. I want a medium roast, so I set it to cool down mode just slightly before it reached medium because the carryover heat is gonna force it to coast just to the color that I want. Then by Bada bing, bada boom, I'm crazy because I bought a coffee roaster just to flex on Starbucks. Oh, P.S. It's better to let these beans rest for about three to five days before using them. Anyway, so once you've got good beans, let's talk salted caramel frappuccino, unfortunately for me. Now to make the caramel, combine one cup or 125 grams of granulated sugar and a quarter cup or 60 milliliters of water. Mix that together, turn the heat to medium high, and bring that to a boil. Now just let that guy cook for about eight to 12 minutes or until it turns a deep amber color like this. Be careful not to let it burn because it will happen quickly. Now immediately whisk in five tablespoons tablespoons or 70 grams of butter, one teaspoon or four grams of kosher salt, the beans from one vanilla bean pod, keep continuously whisking until everything is combined and emulsified. That means no hot butter lying on top, right? Papa will be very sad. Now turn off the heat, stream and whisk in half a cup or 120 milliliters of heavy whipping cream until thoroughly combined. Oh, and uh, don't forget to splash TJ with searing hot caramel on accident. Yeah, that really helps lift the flavor. Then just pour this guy into a heat proof container to cool. It'll be pretty loose for now, but as it cools, it will reach the perfect viscosity. Who doesn't like that word, right? It's just like a nasty word. Viscosity. Next, we're gonna make ourselves a very simple, simple syrup by combining equal parts of water and sugar. That's one cup and one cup. Place it over medium heat, whisking continuously just until dissolved, then let it cool completely. Okay, so when it comes to blending a frappuccino, it usually clumps up and you get this sort of like yucky, poopy mess. Thanks to you guys, I got a bunch of great DMs from people who've worked at Starbucks suggesting that it needs an emulsifier to avoid that. Simply put, you're gonna need xanthan gum. Link in the description for that as well. But most grocery stores also care. If you're gonna make a lot of fraps, then go ahead and place your simple syrup in a blender, start blending, and stream in exactly six grams of xanthan gum. You'll get sort of a suggestive looking jelly. Otherwise, you can add a tiny sprinkle of xanthan while blending to achieve the same results. One last thing, they usually use cold brew, which obviously you can make yourself with little to no equipment, but I actually opted for espresso for more depth of flavor, and you can use an espresso machine like mine, or you could use something cheaper like a mocha pot. Now. 
we're ready to blend this little feller. In a blender, add two cups or 280 grams of ice, half a cup or 120 milliliters of good espresso or cold brew concentrate, three quarters of a cup or 180 milliliters of whole milk, or any non-dairy milk, if you're one of those uh, people that gets all farty from milk. It's okay, I, I think I do too, it's fine. Three tablespoons of your caramel sauce and a quarter cup of your Xanthan Simple Paste stuff. Then just let that blender rip and blend until nice and smooth. Again, if you don't wanna make the Xanthan Simple, you could just add about a half teaspoon of pure Xanthan while blending. Then just get yourself a glass, coat the walls with caramel, try to make yourself a nice little pattern. Then pour in your frap, leave about an inch of headspace. Then top it with a nice whipped cream and finish off the top of that whipped cream with a nice classy drizzle of your salty vanilla bean caramel. It's already looking and sounding a lot better than it started. Starbucks counterpart, but let's see how the taste test goes. Okay, so we have the Starbucks stupid fleep piece of fleep. I mean frappuccino. <laughs> oh yes, try this one. Holy fleep. We've got one that actually tastes like coffee. It's not overly sweet. If you were to taste these back to back, you would understand what I'm trying to get at. It actually has that rich salted caramel. It's got deep coffee espresso flavor. This is delicious, and I do think that we've won, but of course we need a taste tester, and I need to get new straws. A little backstory, Vikram does not like coffee. Here it is. <laughs> and here's the second one. All right, I will say the second one is a lot better. Like, <laughs> the winner is... Really? Better. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we needed a coffee drinker in here to really have the side-by-side -side of a coffee drinker versus a non-coffee drinker. Um, this one, number dose. I'm gonna guess that yours was the first yeah. one because it was way better. When we do butt betters, it's always like you've got the in and outs and you've got the Burger Kings and like we use techniques to make them better. I don't want to recreate this. <laughs> My idea of making this better would be making something that is not this, but actually coffee because that is the whole point. And to be fair, I used to work at Starbucks. These are made with 5% coffee. Oh, she! Whoa! No, no, leave me! Next up is something that I was forced to do by you guys, which is the pink drink and is also sickeningly simple. Get yourself one cup or 240 milliliters of hot water, dunk it in a hibiscus tea bag and an acai tea bag. Before anybody complains, I tried using pure acai powder and whole hibiscus and it was way too dark to achieve the proper color. Secondarily, I was not a fan of this whole process and I will never be doing this again. Okay, Papa, just do this for you once. Anyway, once that's steeped for about three to five minutes, remove the bags and add half a cup or 120 milliliters of white grape juice. Yes. It's listed on the ingredients for the pink drink. And add a little bit of honey to taste. Now finally, pour that over ice, top with a generous splash of coconut milk, stir together and garnish with fresh strawberries. Now, hopefully this tastes better than it looks, so let's give that a little whirl. I didn't even wanna do the pink drink, for the record. I'm not trying to have a bad attitude. I just think this drink is silly. It doesn't taste bad though. Also, this is like kind of separated and gross. It either looks like dish detergent or it looks like fluids that are pink. Before we get demonetized, let's taste this. Oh. I still don't like it. <laughs> I get it, it's like a fruity, slightly creamy. Just gotta drink this. Woo. Mm. I don't really know what this is supposed to be. That's the problem. I can't recreate something that's not real. I'll just let Starbucks have this one because I just hate this so much. The winner of the pink drink, Starbucks, you can have this one. Please take the trophy because I don't want it. Now, to recover from the sadness of the pink drink, I figured we'd do one last little thing, which is a little trick to make homemade nitro cold brew. Simply get 250 milliliters of your favorite cold brew. Optionally, mix in about 12 milliliters of maple syrup. Pour it into an ISI canister, link in the description. Pop on the lid, twist on a fresh whip it. Let that sit and aerate for about three minutes. Now put on some smooth jazz, get yourself a nice beer glass, and slowly extract what is now your very first homemade ultra fizzy nitro cold brew. And as it turns out, it is even better than it looks. Okay, so we've got nitro cold brew, nitro cold brew. At the end of the day, well, let me sip it first. Oh yeah, I mean, look at that. I mean, this is still actually shockingly carbonated. I didn't know that the whip it method works so well. It's ultra smooth, it's a little sweet. It's like a lightly carbonated beer, but instead of getting all silly, you get energy. Nitro cold brew is only as good as the cold brew that's put in it. I can drink Starbucks's cold brew. It's just extraordinarily flat and bitter. In comparison to this, which is smooth, rich, sweet, but anyway, we win this one for sure. Vikram brought up a good point, actually. He's gonna know which one he's sipping on, which is why we create an illusion. Number, <sighs> put it in your mouth hole. You just sip it, just like a, like a beer. Hmm. Number two, it's so quiet. I mean, they both taste good. The first one was really sweet. I'm gonna go with the second one because I like cold brews that don't have sugar. <laughs> I added sugar trying to fool him. Wait, My did I pick Starbucks? Yeah, you picked Starbucks. Oh, I added the sugar because I thought he would like Sorry. it. Sorry. All right, this awesome. fucking episode is over. You wanna know what else is an emotional roller coaster for Josh to do because you ask him to do it? B-roll. <laughs>
and that is it. So, all right, a little bit of a weird, but better this time. Frappuccino, I would say we won if you're a coffee drinker. If you're not a coffee drinker, then you're probably gonna prefer Starbucks, obviously, because I want it to taste like coffee. The pink drink, I just, to me, mine tasted good, but didn't taste anything like theirs at all. So we'll give it to Starbucks. I hate that drink. Last one is the nitro cold brew now, because I thought, well, TJ's probably gonna want it to be a little bit sweeter, so I added a little bit of maple syrup. Papa kinda spanked himself there. At the end of the day, the nitro cold brew that you make is only as good as the cold brew that you have. So the better the cold brew, the better the nitro cold brew. I'll just stick to my morning lattes, how about that, all right? We will do much better on the next one, I can assure you that. With all that said, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you 